Hello everybody, welcome back to NeoQuest 2. So I started my walk out of here, um, out of, what is this place called? Akhtenka. <clears throat> so our next goal is to go get the, um, the gemstone or whatever it is, and then we're going to be heading to the last boss of this chapter. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I feel like we've been here forever. So this has been a very long chapter. Maybe not as long as Act 1, but definitely longer than Act 2. So I'm excited to go to the next one. Um, I, I mentioned last time that Act 4 has always been my favorite, just just because of the um, the setting. I really like the Haunted Woods setting. I always felt like Act 5 in Fairyland was um, kind of a bit of a bummer compared to Act 4. Not that I don't like Fairyland necessarily, just uh, I never liked the chapter as much in general. Um, so yeah, but you know, by the time I got to Fairyland I would always just power through. It's got some cool bosses. Um, lots of enemies in this place. Not even on hunting mode. We're at level 37. I think Jelly Neo recommends being 40 when you come out of here. So we'll be a little under leveled, but I feel way better about it with Velm. So it's not really a big deal. Um, it's hard. It's a lot harder to die with him um, than it was before we had him. So I'm not too concerned. I have been playing more on, um, you know, outside of NeoQuest. I talked a little bit about that last time, but I've been doing it even more since then. I noticed, like, I completely forgot about my premium scratch cards. So those have just been piling up for a long time. Um, I actually had like 185 of them. So I've been scratching those. I I waited until I got the boon from Tyrania. It was my first time entering it, and um, I picked the winning team. So I I got the boon for the scratch cards. So I'm getting extra money from them every time. So that's been pretty cool. Um, but it is taking a long time to go through them all since there were 185 of them. Um, I've been getting more into the Battle Dome because of that, too. Uh, let's see. I also didn't even realize there were avatars associated with that, so now i got to do it, like, more. Because <laughs> I got one of the avatars for being on the winning team, but now i got to um, do weeks with the other winning... or with the other teams. Um, I didn't realize Rohan was so low on health there. I mean, not that low on health. I wouldn't have even considered that low, you know, before we had Velm. But now nobody really gets that low. That's what I was waiting for. Oh, come on. It didn't even work. Desert Protector missed. Or I missed the Desert Protector, rather. Can Velm take him out? Probably not. Oh, he could. He did 23 damage. Or he took 23 from the shield. I don't know. He might have done 16. Either way, that's a lot, um, considering they had their defense up. All right, let's get that. <clears throat> um, I'd rather get the stunning strikes up, I think. And then let's go over to Taylinia. Those are both good. Um, I think this is our first um, point on Shockwave for a long time here. I don't know how I feel about Shockwave still. It doesn't really seem to slow them down that much. I kind of wish I would have went with Slowing Strikes instead, but it's kind of too late. I've already put so many points in the Shockwave, and there's no way to respec. So, um, I don't think anyway. So I'm pretty much just stuck with my choices. So it's whatever. We're only playing on normal, so it's easy enough to where it's not really going to matter. 
And I, I, I'm pretty sure I always used to put points in the shockwave, even when I played through on insane difficulty. I might have... I kind of remember maybe... Maybe I didn't put it in shockwave. Maybe instead what I did was um, maxed everybody's defense and haste. I, I, I know I followed a guide, and I feel like that's what I was doing because of that. But it was so long ago. It's useless trying to remember. Um, I guess I should heal a little bit more. Nice. All right. All right. So I have a bit of a long walk here. I'll see if this guy has anything new to say. Blood in. Uh, nope. This is the same dialogue. Oh, I don't even have to talk to him. I can just keep walking. Which is what we will do. So let me get my map back out for the entire desert. Um. Yeah, so we have a pretty long walk. Actually, I'm going to want my map for the eastern desert because we got to find that medallion gemstone still. And that is marked on the Jelly Neo map. It's too bad we couldn't just like find them and then skip everything. <laughs> Not that I would have wanted wanted to skip a boss anyway, but still, it would have saved a bit of walking overall. All right, come on, we were rolling. There we go. All right, so the medallion gemstone is right up here in kind of the center of these rock formations. Uh, we're not going to be too under level. Like we'll probably get to almost 39 before getting to the next boss. So, which is nice. I haven't had to grind in this chapter at all. I had to grind a lot in act one before getting Mipsy, especially. And then I had to grind a lot in act two. I think I was at like 10 or 11 levels overall that I grinded off camera. Uh, but in this chapter, haven't grinded at all. So um it's been nice. Hopefully that'll um continue to be the case, especially you know, taking into account that I'm planning to do all of the bosses, even the optional ones. Hopefully that'll keep us at about the right level. I don't really like grinding. It's not too bad with this game because I can just like um, like if I, I do it early in the morning, which is when I usually, oh, I'm on the wrong side of this. If I do it early in the morning, um, it's not too bad because usually the site's really quick. I'm assuming because there's not a lot of people on. Um, like right now is like, you can see like kind of middle of the day, so. It's not too bad, but it does get a little laggy sometimes. Early in the morning, it's very quick. Uh, let's do that. Let's try to take this guy out. Cool. And we got Mipsy's level. So what are we doing on Mipsy? Haste? No, we're doing... Yeah, we're, well, we're doing group haste. I was thinking of casting haste. So that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so medallion gemstone. Finally about to get there. Ah, of course. Yeah, like I said, I'm been getting back into the battle dome, and I'm um, I'm glad I decided to change my pet back into a Galert, because one of the the Galert has like a great healing item that only works on Galerts, 
Um, it heals like 50% of its health, and it wasn't that expensive. So I actually have a pretty decent battle dome set. I have that. I got um, the Wand of Reality, the Sword of Apocalypse, the Honey Potion, and um, is it right here or right here? There we go. Um, you arrive at the spot marked in the medallion. Spot marked in the medallion. Begin to dig. After a while, you come across a small wooden box well preserved by the dry desert. You open the box and see a small, fiery gemstone set within. You remove the gemstone from the box. It fits perfectly into the medallion. Complete. The medallion glows with a subtle inner light. You realize that the position of the gemstone on the map corresponds to the location of Zakharuk's pyramid. So now I want the entire desert's map. Um, so it's a bit of a walk because it's back in the southwest part of the map. Um, I wanted to look at that medallion. So we're going right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, my battle dump said I got Wand of Reality, Sword of Apocalypse, Honey Potion, the Galert healing thing. Um, I I only have a leaf shield. I couldn't really find a better shield that was a reasonable amount of money. I got the snow globe staff, which honestly so far has been kind of useless. I used to always have a snow globe staff in my set. Um but I've used it like on all of the boon fighting that I did and I don't think it froze anybody one time. Maybe I was just getting unlucky. But it's a lot worse than I remember it being. So I might look into something else. Um, I don't have like a ton of Neo points, so I can't buy like the real good stuff. So I'm working on like a a nice budget set. I mean, it's nice that a lot of stuff has come down so much, like the Wand of Reality and Sword of Apocalypse, because those used to be like way out of my budget. I, I never really dreamed of having a set even this good. Um, I did have a honey potion at one time, but that was back when they were 800k. Um, <clears throat> and eventually I just got bored with the battle dome and I sold it. Thankfully I did, and I didn't hold on to it, because now they're worthless. Um, and then I got a downsize in there. And that's it so far. So definitely room for improvement, but I'm happy with it. I like the new battle dome. Um, I hadn't really um, played around in the new Battle Dome yet, like ever since it got converted, which I know was a long time ago, but I just, even in, even when I did play since then, I, I didn't really have a Battle Dome set, so I never went back to it. Um, but yeah, the, the new, the new Battle Dome is pretty nice it's it's much quicker than the old one was since it doesn't need to load the page every time um i don't think it's flash so i don't think that's going to be too much of a worry we're getting closer and closer to that day of um losing flash we're at about a month and a half now until then Man, uh, I should probably top us off. I can tell you do enough. Yeah, nice. That was a really good spray of arrows. Awesome. So we have to walk back down here is where like the center is with the village where we got velm and then we got to go past the temple and then go southwest from there and then we'll be at the pyramid i don't think the pyramid is that big but i'm not sure i looked at it last time i played which is like a week ago so i don't really remember Why are you saying that, Galert? What do you mean, how can you show your face in the battle dome like this? What's wrong with you? I think you look fine. Uh, 
Um, I've been zapping my rookie, and it turned color to Halloween. Thought about keeping it, but I don't really like rookies that much. So I'm probably going to keep zapping it. I haven't really done any more pet customization since the last time I played. Ooh, that's like the <laughs> like the most damage Velm could do. I wasn't sure he was going to kill it. Only 41? Wow, okay. We don't need to be fighting these guys. We're doing like nothing. This is where I wish that there was a sneaking mode. Because I really, I mean, there's no point in even fighting these guys. That was two of them for 71. That means each they're giving us like 75. I mean, I'll do it. It feels like a waste not to. But it feels like a waste to do it, so <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should just run away. I'll finish this one, but maybe after this I should just start running away. Because they're not giving us like any experience, but they're not very quick to beat either. Like if it was, if they only took like a couple seconds to beat, it'd be one thing. Yeah, three of them for 68 experience? That doesn't even make any sense. I thought last time I got 70. Maybe I'm misremembering. Um, oh, come on, really? <laughs> Thank God. Yeah, I'm not going to bother fighting these guys. I'm sure when we get back into the pyramid, there will be, like, um, decent enemies again. Come on. What's going on? There we go. I haven't rested in a while, but I'm pretty sure the last place I rested was still in this village, so that's where I want to stay. That's where I want to keep my respawn point. Whoops. Ran into a rock. Alright, so now we just head down this way, and we should see the pyramid. And these guys are still useless, so I'm not going to bother. There we go. Yeah, I really don't know why they took sneaking out of NeoQuest 1. That just seems like a bizarre decision. Really? Why can't I run away from one guy? Are you serious? <clears throat> I wonder, like, what determines fleeing. Like, if it has anything to do with the enemies you're facing, or if it's just... Um, like a random roll or what? Well, we're here. Let's get that pyramid map pulled up. Ooh, okay. It is actually pretty big. It has three levels. And it is definitely um, a labyrinth. Enormous Grunda... Grundaceros? Oh, it is like a Grunda. Whoops. Ooh. Um, he's probably not going to do much, so... He can't really cause any damage by himself. All right, we're back to 80 for one enemy. That's good. Yeah, given the size of this place, I'm assuming we'll at least get to level 39, so it shouldn't be too under-leveled or anything. Um, so we got to go up here, and then around. This place is like, 
this would be a nightmare without a map. Is there anybody who has played this game without a map? If so, I don't know how you did it. Because, man, I mean, I guess... I mean, obviously, it would be possible. It would just take forever. Undead Warrior is pretty cool. Mm, yeah. Try to take him out. Pretty good XP. Come on. All right, so we gotta go up around and just all the way to the left. Keep accidentally right clicking. All right. Now I can go this way. Man, we have a long way to go before even getting to level two. This is a big place. I want to finish it this episode, though, this act, and then we'll probably probably just um, stop there and do Haunted Woods starting next episode. All right, I just noticed we're starting to get stamina potions, um, which are 130 health, but I really don't even notice them anymore because of Elm. Like, it's we hardly ever need a potion. Maybe later, like, when if enemies start doing, like, regularly more than 90 damage and it's hard for Velm to keep up, but I don't see that happening for a long time, like, until at least Fairyland. Maybe against the the fairies boss. I just remember that boss being like so hard, the fairies in Haunted Woods, because there were four of them. So I wonder how I'm gonna like what I'm gonna think now. That I'm like older. No, don't do that. Okay. Phew. Well, it didn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if I'll still think it's so hard though. Like, to me, I thought that that was basically the hardest boss in the game. Just because it was the only boss where you really had multiple bosses. Like, we saw the Revenant who had two underlings, but, you know, they were underlings. They weren't, they didn't have nearly as much HP as him. Whereas the fairies, they have, they all have around the same amount of HP, do about the same amount of damage, so... But I remember grinding so much for them because I would keep, I just kept on dying. All right, this next part looks like a nightmare. Um, at least it would be without a map. All right, we're going to go and go here, and then we need to go down, and then over here, oh. and then enemies come and throw me off.
Yeah, we haven't had an update from Neopets in a while on like any new um stuff that's been converted from Flash. So I wonder how that's going. Like I still wonder like I wonder if there's gonna be access to the old version of the site at all. Or if it's just gonna be completely gone. That's the biggest question I want answered. Maybe it has been. I mean, I haven't really dug super deep into every statement they've put out, but um, like, is the beta version of the site, is that going to be it? Or will you always be able to access the old site? Just, you know, you won't be able to use the flash elements. I don't know. I hope that's the case because then stuff like this, which probably isn't going to be converted, um, will still be accessible. I mean, I just can't see them converting, like, everything. But, who knows? There are quite a bit of games that don't use Flash, so... Maybe they have a solution in mind for that. Because, I mean, there's a lot of, like, the Luck and Chance stuff. Like... Um, Kiss the Morthog, um, the Heads or Tails ones, it's Double or Nothing, I think. I mean, they have Flash in them, but you can play them just fine without Flash. It just doesn't play the little cutscene. But the clock is ticking, so I don't know. They still haven't even enabled sending scores yet on the new games. So I'm not super filled with confidence. I can't, I mean, I'm sure the staff there is probably so overworked. Um, just because I can't imagine there's a lot of people still working on it. Because, I, I mean, I'm sure it's not super profitable. So I'm. what I'm guessing is that there's probably like a skeleton crew and they're all overworked. But I have no idea. I'm just completely speculating based on basically nothing just like the perceived popularity of the site I actually had something weird happen to me with my premium like I back I don't think I ever told this story but back in like 2016 is when I started playing again since for the first time since like 2010 or 11 and I got premium pretty early on when I started playing again. So, you know, back in 2016, I think like December 2016, actually. Um, which was like the second month I had started playing again. So I got that. And then by March, I was frozen for whatever reason. There was not really a reason given. Um, it just said it was for my own protection because they detected suspicious activity um but then of course it took um it took about three years oh shoot what did i do dang it i didn't notice that it took about three almost four years to get my account back and the first two months i was still being charged premium and i kept emailing support asking them to stop because I didn't even have my account. So obviously I didn't want to pay for premium still, but I couldn't get into my account to cancel premium. So they were just charging me for like two months. Um, so finally I went to PayPal and I canceled the subscription there. And that was fine. I stopped getting charged. But then once I got on Frozen, I realized it had just treated me like I had premium the whole time. Like I still have all my premium cards. For the time I was frozen, I still was getting scratch cards every week. Like, they didn't get the memo that I had canceled. <laughs> and right when I got my account back, I re-upped it anyway. But it was the weirdest thing. It's like they had no idea that, um, like, I don't understand how I was able to get everything when clearly they weren't getting any money for it. Um... Like, I would think that they would have tried to bill me, it wouldn't have worked, and it would have, like, auto-canceled or something like that. I don't know. I have to imagine nowadays, 
most of their income is just coming from well obviously ads um is probably the majority of their income but after that it's probably premium memberships um from people who used to play a lot or from or i'm sure people who do play a lot still um they probably a lot of them probably do have premium if you're playing so much at this point probably pretty serious about it even though i haven't like played a ton i really just have my premium membership as more of a like um thanks for like all the time i spent on it when i was younger um you know back when i always wanted premium and i you know didn't really have my own money so i couldn't afford it um or you know have any means to buy it so it's more of like in recognition of all that time that i spent on it um for free and i enjoy the perks like the scratch cards that i'm now getting a ton of money from because i forgot about them <laughs> and the super shop wizard is super nice hate using the normal shop wizard and that's about it. I think that's pretty much all I use from the premium benefits. I had a premium for like a few months as a kid. Like, you know, I would like convince my parents to buy it for me for like a couple months here and there. I loved going on the premium boards. And I don't even know why. I never really even like posted on them. I just liked being able to. Um, all right, we're getting pretty close to getting to level two now. I hope level two isn't that big, but I'm going to guess it is. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm sure they're not making a ton of money on NC anymore. I mean, I can't imagine they are. I used to buy like those um, things with like codes, like there was like space fairy codes and stuff. I don't even remember what you, they were that you bought. Um, I remember there being trading cards too that I would buy. Maybe that's where I got codes. But I never bought any NC because I was never really interested in like putting clothes on my pets and stuff, which was the primary purpose of that from what I remember. I have 300 NC. I've always had that as long as I can remember. I have no idea where I got it. I just have never spent it. Maybe that was like the free NC they gave to everybody when it first debuted or something. I remember pre-NC Neopets. If I could get a nice spray of arrows, that'd be great. Oh man, did I already use spray of arrows? There we go. Perfect. Didn't miss anybody. Hmm. Can't really do any damage anyway. Come on. Take this guy out. Yeah, I was hoping we get to level 39 and we're getting there before even leaving the first level because it is so big. Whoops. Um, let's do critical attack. We'll keep on walking. We are so close. I'm scared to look at the map for the second level. Because I'm sure I'm not going to like what I see. These guys are stronger. Up to 205 now.
don't really have anything for Velm to do. Hey, throw a chill potion. How about that? 97 damage. Wow. It must be like weak to magic or something. Let's get that shockwave going. Yeah, at this rate, we might even hit level 40. I don't know. If this level is really long, I might break this up into two videos. Because I don't want to put out a super long video. We're already approaching 40 minutes here. Um, I guess I can top off. Nice. Jeez. Why are they taking eight seconds? Did I stun them? I didn't even notice. If I did. All right. Let's take a look at this map. Level two. Um, not nearly as bad. Okay, this is actually, this was going to be pretty quick, actually. As long as you know where to go. If you didn't, it could be a nightmare. I'll take a quick peek at level three. Oh, level three is like nothing. All right, so it was all in level one. That was the majority of it. Yeah, we'll definitely finish it up. Um, actually, let me make sure I turn flash on. Um, I, I don't want to forget to do that. I don't think I turned it on yet today. Um, I want to make sure to do that before the cutscene in the middle of the chapter. I guess we're going to, like, meet Velm in real life. Um, Velm's got nothing to do. Is that guy out? His undead paladin seems super weak, like, defensively. Which is great. It means we take them out very quickly. And we got Mipsy's level. Which is good. So we're about halfway on the group haste. Kind of sad we have all the party members. Because I always look forward to getting the new party member. But now I don't have that to look forward to. I like that a lot in games, like, after I get all the party members, I start to lose interest. <laughs> I think I said that when I got Velm, especially in Pokemon. Once I evolve all my Pokemon, I start to be like, all right, what am I working towards? It kind of gets monotonous after that. All right, let's see. So I just want to go down. Whoops. And up here. And it should be like right up here. And then we'll be at the Anubis looking guy. Reminds me of Lucario. Probably because they're both based on Anubis. A new bits, wow. Yep. <laughs> a new bits grins evilly at you as you approach. You think to reach the altar of destiny. You'll have to get past me first, he shouts. Um slow potion probably. Oh come on. Let's haste everyone. 
put up that wall. Try the slow potion again. No? Alright, he really doesn't want to be slowed. Um, one more time. Nope. Alright. Just go for the damage. I guess that he can heal himself. He's got a shield. Um let's see, throw a blister potion. We're doing steady damage. Pasted. And a heal. There you go. Heals 150. That's a lot. That's more than I can really do in a turn, unless everything goes perfectly. Which certainly not. He's like resisting everything. I refuse to die in this fight. I do not want to make this walk back. If I die in this fight, there's going to be like a month between episodes because I'm never going to want to walk back here. <laughs> All right, now we're rolling. Now we're doing some actual damage. I mean, he hasn't damaged me at all, so I'm not really worried about dying, but. He's doing, like, barely anything. I mean, he does damage me. Uh, I guess I might as well. Alright. I was just getting unlucky, I guess, with him resisting, like, everything. Throw another blister potion. Though they don't really seem to do anything. He just seems to have really high magic resistance. So he's resisting the damage potions and Mipsy. Which is a big chunk of damage. Okay. Um, I guess I'll try one more. Could take him out. Yeah, there we go. Film got the killing blow. We got a new wand and a new staff. All right, let's see that cutscene. Stop the standstorm. Well, it's now Rohan Day. Yep, there's Velm. Oh, and there's the Snow Wager. Didn't we already know that? They told us that in that act in the desert. All right. To the haunted woods we go. And that should be it. And here we are. Ooh, spooky. And, uh, go talk to these people in the Shadow Gulch. Uh, we'll do this in the next episode. Um, so thank you guys for watching today. Uh, hope you are enjoying this series. We are on Act 4 out of 5, so we are at least 60% of the way through the game now. Um, so, yeah, we'll pick it up here next time. Um, hope you have a good day, and I'll see you then. Bye.